Hi, everyone. I want to talk about a type safety issue in MPI and the static analysis techniques that allow us to find these issues. So, what is MPI? MPI is arguably the most frequently used interface to program high-performance computing systems. It basically allows you to uh, send messages between different processes that are running on different compute nodes with local memory. Here is an example. MPI defines a set of communication functions, like MPI send, that take a pointer to the buffer, like data, and a couple of additional parameters. We specify the type as uh, some different implementation defined constant, in this case MPI int, and the number of elements in the buffer. Obviously, there is some duplication going on here, and in a reasonably sized program, this buffer declaration and communication function call will be separated by tens of thousands lines, maybe, and it would be not obvious to the programmer that there is some mismatch. And obviously, buffer is declared as void star in order to ensure the genericity of MPI send function, and we cannot express such a constraint in the C-type system, that the type of the first argument depends on the value of the third argument. So we propose a set of annotations that can allow you to express such a constraint in the C-type system. This requires changes to the mpi.teach header file and some changes in the compiler, additional semantic analysis checks, and logic to fire the diagnostics. What are the advantages of our approach? Well, we don't require any changes in MPI programs so that we are source compatible with all existing source code that uses MPI. This is a header-only change, so all MPI implementations can easily adopt it and annotate the header files very easily. And all checks are done in compile time, and we don't have any runtime overhead for this. Here are here are our annotations. We annotate all the communication functions with the pointer with type tag attribute. We specify the number of the buffer pointer, and we specify the argument index for the type tag. And all the type tags are also annotated with the type talk for data type, so that the type tag value can be matched to the corresponding C data type. So in this case, we have the MPI send function call that accepts a pointer to a double buffer, and we pass the MPI int constant. MPI int expands to the location of the OMPI MPI int data type, and it has this data type tag. So the compiler has all the required information to type check this call, and in this case, we will emit this diagnostic saying that, hey, you have a double star pointer, but your type tag requires an in star pointer. We have implemented this in mainline Clang. MPI CH2 implementation has already the, uh, we have also sent a patch to the MPI CH2 implementation, and the and their MPI.h header is already annotated. You can check out the latest release candidate version, and it will work with latest Clang. And patch for MPI is under review because OpenMPI developers has vo have voiced some interest in like shaping this warning for their code base that abuses some types of pointers, and it would fire lots of diagnostic for their code that that's not really correct, but they already have this code and they have to deal with it. So thank you very much for your attention.